masculine days, it was unbelievable, the power that the custom men had over us. And we loved them dread. We knew that man every day to Derry. Derry was our market town, and that was where we did our business. And that, the border came on, and uh, it was very, very difficult to begin with. And the Red London Derry and Lough Sully Railway, they, they ran across the border. And she crossed the border at this called Bridge End. And uh, <coughs> At that particular place, the customer went through your pockets. They clapped you. And uh, you could have nothing. It was a, it was a pure... Uh, it's unbelievable, like in the present day and age, that they could have took the shoes off your feet and sent you home in the stock soles if they had been bought in the north. See, the job was you had done in some wild thing that you threw away and then you bought the new ones and you put them on and that uh, it has been known that they took the shoes off, off their feet and sent them home in the sock soles. They had the power to do anything at all they wanted. But this, this particular poem now is entitled The Free State Farmer. And uh, it was written by a man by the name of Malloy. Tom Malloy was a poet who had been standing. He and the brother had a pub between them there in the village of Bonfoot. And he wrote quite a lot of poems. But this is one that he wrote now is entitled The Free State Farmer. And, and if I can get started, I can remember it now. Uh, as I said, it was unbelievable the power they had and the fear that was instilled into you whenever you came to Bridge End where the, where the train stopped and the customer boarded her. The fear that was instilled into you because you were sure to have something. You didn't go into Derry and come back out again. Derry was the place, the, the terminus of the London Derry and Lost Holy Railway. You didn't go in there and come back out again. You had someone with you. And really no matter whether the man got it or whether he didn't. But this, this story anyway is entitled The Free State Farmer. And it tells the trouble that a man got into when he bought a new suit in Derry. And took a hand to smuggle it out. And uh, he did put the walls in the, in the habit of doing. Everybody did it. Uh, it went uh, something like this. I'm a Free State Farmer. I come from any show. My farm, it is not very large, of bank books I have known. I toil along from day to day, I do the best I can, I sell my butter and my eggs, like any other man. Now, Derry is my market town, that's there I get my meat, my tea, my sugar, and my bread, my parings and pig's feet. Some time ago, my clothes were worn. I went down to Derry Town and I left my measure for a suit. The tailor took it down. He said, call back in three weeks' time and ready it will be. So I toddled off along the road to the state, the sea, as free. My wife and I, we talked things over, we talked daily, day by day about how we'd get my suit across, no duty for to pay. Well, the day came round, I went to town, I went to get my clothes. Says I, I'll do these custom men. I'll do them to their nose. I'll throw these torn old rags away and I'll dress up like a top. So, with my parcel under my arm, to the station, I set off. Now, I felt a wee bit guilty as I walked down the strand. I thought all hands would look at me. I was a frightened man. But I packed an empty carriage, for I had to be alone, to smuggle out the suit of clothes to the road and show. The train steamed out past Pennyburn, and I started to undress. The old coat went out the window, likewise my pants and vest. But when I opened up my parcel to my horror, I did find that there had made some mistake. The pants were left behind. Oh, woe's me, oh, woe's me, the game is all up now. The shivering had came over me, and the sweat ran down my brow. I looked a picture of distress, naked and alone, steaming at sixty miles an hour to dear old any show. Well, the train pulled up at Gallagher Road, 
a clothesline hung nearby and the large pair of ladies knickers there flew high onto the sky. I knocked out and I pulled them on. They fitted me to a tee. She said to myself, a plus four suit just makes a man of me. The custom man saluted me. He thought it was a swell. But the wife, she damn near murdered me before I got time to tell. Oh, never again. No, never again. Or I get out my loan to smuggle out a suit of clothes to derail any show. <laughs>